7-Up Gold was a flavor of 7-Up that was introduced in 1988 and discontinued in 1989. Thank you for your suggestion. When you think of sodas or soft drinks, you naturally think of Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or maybe even Dr. Pepper, which are loaded with sugar and caffeine. When it comes to the alternative, you may think of the clear variety. Without the caffeine, 7-Up. In 1986, a dramatic change happened at 7-Up. They merged with Dr. Pepper. It was now a new company made from two-storied American brands that just had a big success with a new product, and they wanted to keep the good times rolling. Instead of researching a new product or adding more flavors to 7-Up, they decided to try an unused recipe that had been cooked up over a Dr. Pepper. The company had high hopes for a new flavor that would capture 1% of the cola market, which at the time was $26.6 billion in 1988. The unusual concoction wasn't a cola, but it was also wasn't what people expected from 7-Up. 7-Up Gold was a naturally spiced cinnamon ginger flavor of 7-Up that went against the 7-Up marketing slogan, never had it, never will, referring to the caffeine or lack thereof in all of its 7-Up products. 7-Up Gold distinguished itself as the one with caffeine. While most of the products that 7-Up marketed, aside from the new Cherry 7-Up that was introduced around the same time, was the clear Uncola. 7-Up Gold wasn't exactly gold or clear, instead it was a cola-like amber color with maybe just a tinge of red, more in the spirit of a ginger ale than a true Coca-Cola or a Pepsi. Most people who drank it while it was available described it as spicy, a combination of sweet cinnamon spice and ginger. The packaging was really nice, red cans with white lettering accented with gold. They really popped. The red can was nice, but they also sold a diet variation of the drink sweetened with aspartame. That can was equally striking with a white body with gold and red highlights. They use the term gold not as a description of flavor or packaging, but instead because they thought it would make people think premium. 7-Up Gold and its Diet 7-Up Gold alternative was first introduced in 1988 in many markets across the United States. 7-Up was optimistic about 7-Up Gold and would spend over $10 million on a series of energetic commercials showing youthful people engaged in high-energy antics. This was in line with the company's stated attempt to, to appeal to males aged 18 to 34. The product was rolled out in April of 1988. Commercials started to hit the airwaves in May and would continue through the summer. It had been reported that they hoped to capture 1% of the market with their new product, which would have been about $266 million a year in revenue. So with the ads rolling out in print, radio, and television, 7-Up Gold hit store shelves and 7-Up was expecting blockbuster sales. While it had its fans, it was nothing like the groundswell that Cherry 7-Up had received. So the company decided that rather than try to keep the brand going, they would pull the plug. In early 1989, bottles stopped appearing on store shelves and by spring of that year, it would be gone. So what happened? The target customer group did not take well to the new soft drink. Marketers had focused on lifestyle, and when shoppers were in stores and spotted an Amber 7-Up brand, it was confusing. Was it a cola? Did it have caffeine? Why would it be called gold? None of that was answered in time to make a difference. 
The New York Times said in 1989, it seemed like a surefire strategy for creating a new soft drink. Test the flavor to make sure people like it, sell it under the brand name of an established product, and back it with $10 million in advertising. For 7up Gold, however, it turned out to be a recipe for a flop. Disappointment, said 7up's chief executive John Albers. I'll be honest, it's a failure. I've been around for so long, and you think you learn your lessons and practice intelligent marketing, but you can be sidetracked. 7up executives and their powerful business partners, the 7up bottlers and distributors, had several theories to the product which is misunderstood by the consumer. People had a clear view of what 7up products should be, clear and crisp and clean, and no caffeine. 7up gold was darker and it does have caffeine, so it didn't fit the 7up image. The 7up company originally hoped to capture 1% or more of the estimated $26.6 billion soft drink market in the US in one year, which would have generated around $266 million a year in revenues. But 7up Gold had only one tenth of 1% of the market. So, what do you remember about this iconic beverage? Leave a comment. Or if you want, leave a suggestion for a future video about your favorite soft drink. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.